Hello America and welcome to The Nate Lewis Show. It's March 16th, 2010, and this is what's on my mind. According to The Telegraph, a newspaper in the UK, one in ten school kids in the United Kingdom think that Buzz Lightyear was the first man on the moon, which, surprisingly, and a little scary, wasn't the worst answer. Sir Richard Branson, Lance Armstrong, and Luke Skywalker were all credited as being the first moon man. And it doesn't stop there. Only three quarters of the students knew who invented the telephone. The rest gave answers including Charles Darwin, the Queen, and Noel Edmonds. For the Americans out there, Noel Edmonds is the current host of Britain's Deal or No Deal. Yeah. A third of the boys thought that Isaac Newton discovered fire, while others said that he may have invented DNA, the internet, or discovered America. Mind you, these were students as old as 15. What does this say about Britain's education system? Unfortunately, as bad as this sounds, according to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, America scored below the UK in reading, math, and science. And, if you notice, across the board, America's pretty much just average. No child left behind means that dumb kids become average. But so do smart kids. In other news, the Clark County Commission in Nevada, Clark County is where Las Vegas is, voted unanimously to look further into a project that would make an addition to Nevada's McCarran International Airport. What's the addition? Putting a liquor store in the baggage claim area. It's expected to generate $600,000 in revenue for the county. And it's going to make it a lot easier for guys to skip over the juicy details of their trips to Vegas when talking to their wives or girlfriends. So, how was your trip? Man, I'm not even sure. While we were waiting for our luggage, Paul got a half gallon of vodka and... Phew, everything's just a blur from then till like the plane ride home. We know what you did. So, out of curiosity, how many pet lovers out there have ever looked at your pet and said, You know, I really love my dog, but I sure am tired of seeing his butthole. I wish there was a way that I didn't have to look at that all the time. Well, look no further, pet lovers. Rear gear has got you, and your dog's brown eye, covered. Now, I can't say that this is a terrible idea, but maybe going with something other than a brightly colored design would have been the way to go. Cause now I've gone from catching the occasional glimpse of your dog's pucker, to following it with my eyes, wondering if he's in the middle of pooping a brightly colored cartoon flower. So, I saw a commercial for a vacuum the other day. Not a regular 30 second commercial. Like one of those 3 minute mini infomercials that come on during regular programming but just before and just after the infomercial power block. Like the 5am married with children. Do you remember those old floor sweepers that your grandma probably had and it was just like a big dustpan with a brush in the middle and she would roll it across the carpet and she would quit clean with it? Like one of those. But with a gym membership. So I'm watching this commercial and the fine print says that for $150 down and 11 subsequential payments of $50 each you can own this vacuum. That's a $700 vacuum. Not that I am likely to ever spend $700 on a vacuum, but if I did, I'd want it to look like something that I'm praying has an Autobot stamp on it. Yeah. For $700, I can get seven guys from the front of Home Depot to go through my carpet with tweezers. And still have enough left over to get my lawn mowed. So, it's time for a first on The Nate Lewis Show. I'm going to quiz you guys on the questions and answers that were given by the UK school children, just to see how well you do. Are you ready? It's the Nate Lewis Show Trivia Challenge! You'll have five seconds after I read the question. Who was the first person on the moon? answer Neil Armstrong, you're an idiot. Who invented the telephone? If you said Alexander Graham Bell, congratulations! You made it past third grade! What is Sir Isaac Newton most famous for? You said the theory of gravity, give yourself a point, and then punch yourself hmm. in the face. Huh. According to popular opinion, who discovered America? The answer is Christopher Columbus, but if you said none of the above, you may have been right as well. What is Charles Darwin famous for? That's right, the theory of evolution. 
What is Lance Armstrong famous for? He's the only person to win the Tour de France seven times, as well as overcoming stage 3 testicular cancer, which had spread to his lungs, abdomen, and brain. What does DNA stand for? Every 8th grader knows that it's deoxyribonucleic acid. This has been the Nate Lewis Show Trivia Challenge. If you answered less than four questions correctly, do America a favor. Move to the United Kingdom. It is what it is, America. I'm Nate Lewis, and I'll see you next time.